I began to realize that there was something that I really wanted to do with children when I um, helped uh, license a daycare center. And uh, at the time, I didn't want to be the director, but it was it was uh, exciting to go through all the um, paperwork and the initial application of opening uh, the daycare center. And so then I decided that I would just help work in the center. And that's what I did. I uh, even volunteered when it first opened. And then later on, I realized that I truly, truly wished I had became the director when I was asked to, but I was afraid. And so fear was still uh, lingering in my life at that time. But however, as the years went on, I did become the director of that uh, daycare center that I actually licensed. And it was really a joy for me. I uh, came in at a time that I knew that it was really needed because the director who was there was leaving. And I never got tired. There was a lot of work to be done, but I just never got tired. And I knew then that this is what I was going to do for the rest of my working life. And so as I would work every, as I would go to work every day, it was a joy just to get up in the morning. And it was um, a blessing for me to uh, have a place where parents could feel, could be, where their children could be safe and sound throughout the day. So in knowing this at this stage of my life, I just made every day a joy, not just for me, but for the children. When you wake up in the morning and you're happy to go to your job, you know that you are doing the right thing. Of course, there were times when um, there would be a challenge but I knew how to overcome that challenge. And so it just was wonderful for me. Sometimes I would even have to be um, the, um, the teacher, the custodian, as well as the director. But it really worked out for me because it led me on to further think and know that one day I'm gonna open up my own business. And I wanted to begin to have a business of training nannies to become excellent professional child care providers. So I went and I continued to work at the preschool and I knew that there was no other choice but to work with children and that's what I was going to do. But eventually the preschool wasn't uh, making the money like it needed to. So as I licensed that school, I had to also close that school down, which wasn't the happiest time of my life. But as I said, you go through challenges. So it was non-negotiable from that point on that uh, I knew that I would work with children and that I would start looking at opportunities to actually become a nanny, which was surprisingly to me that uh, I went to ask a friend of mine who happens to be uh, in the industry to help me with some of her um, friends that uh, were high profile to start the nanny business. And as fate would have it, I began to work for her. And as you become a nanny, it's just not a job that you leave overnight. You stay there because the people trust you and you like what you're doing. And so that became a, um, a stable environment for me, becoming a nanny. And then as I stayed with that position, I moved on to another position because um, the first client became pregnant again and she wasn't traveling um, with her job anymore and uh, she wanted to stay home. And so as that went on uh, with her um, uh, letting me... Uh, well, I don't want to say letting me go, but uh, as I left that position, someone knew about it and heard about it through um, through me working with her and asked me if I wouldn't mind taking another 
uh, nanny position. So that's when the nanny jobs began. And great, great were they.